For some pro teams, a new year brings new bikes. For others, it brings new colour schemes, kits and the odd funny photo shoot. So in no particular order, here are five of this year's pro bikes worth knowing about. Whilst not technically a new release for 2015, the F8 certainly made an impact with cycling fans by moving away from the famous wiggly seat stays and forks found in the dogmas of recent years. The Team Sky, Pinarello and Jaguar collaboration has made an impact on the creative sector, winning a gold in the London Design Awards in 2014, reiterating the dogma F8 as one of the most sophisticated bikes in the pro peloton. But it doesn't come cheap, and propping one up outside the cafe does give off a certain vibe. But you won't be worrying about what people think when you're riding home on your Dogma F8. Sure, the air code looks great, but looks won't get you far in the Pro Peloton. Fortunately, it has the performance chops to match the aesthetics, boasting a podium finish in last year's Tour de France betwixt the legs of FDJ's Thibaut Pinot. If climbing's not your thing, the air code is also well versed in the cutthroat world of sprinting, as demonstrated by Nasser Buani winning two stages at the 2014 Vuelta Espana. He's now made the switch to rival French team Cofidis, but we're pretty sure the DI2 equipped air code wasn't the reason for jumping ship. Canyon bikes are almost university loved by bike testers, and the Aeroad CF SLX is no exception. Unveiled in 2014 and ridden by both Movistar and Katusha, we have no doubts the Aeroad CF SLX will make many trips to the top step of the podium in 2015. Canyon have made impressive boasts around the increased speed of this frame, stating the internal cables will save you watts against the competition, blah blah. While these claims are very difficult to verify, we can confirm this is a seriously fast bike that also looks great. But the best part about any Canyon has to be its price. The ability to buy a full-on Katusha team replica at just over half the price of some other bikes on this list should earn the Aeroad a place in many a wish list. Focus bikes don't have the immediate impact of a Dogma F8 or an Amonda, but the Izalco Max certainly isn't a bike to turn your nose up at. With the majority of teams running Shimano's top-level Dura Ace group set, AG2R Le Mondial are now the only World Tour team to fit their bikes with SRAM. Obviously, with SRAM on board, the team have adopted ZIP wheel sets. And although it's one of the most affordable pro-level frame sets on the market, the Azalco certainly has impressive Palmares behind it. If it's good enough to podium at the Tour de France, then it's good enough for banging around your local Cat 4 crit. Touted at launch as the lightest production bike ever made, the Amonda is certainly a fan favourite, and Trek Factory Racing haven't shied away from showing off their team frame with a newly announced bright red colourway for 2015. The UCI impose a weight limit of 6.8 kilograms on all pro bikes, so the Amonda's super lightweight frame won't matter much to the new GC signing, Bolk Mollimer. Instead, he'll be looking for a stiff, aggressive bike that can handle the season's visits to the high mountains of continental Europe. Fortunately, the Amonda delivers in this regard too, having recently received a near-perfect score in a bike radar test. All this talk of performance and stiffness means you can't expect the comfiest of rides, but then you wouldn't buy an Amonda for a trip down the shops, would you? You've been watching Bike Radar. We're adding new videos all the time, so don't forget to click subscribe and let us know what you'd like to see more of in the comments below.